How do you think that the series can hook in non-gamers like yourself? You know what? We just got to watch the first episode, actually, right before we did this interview, and it's amazing. So this is not... It's true to the game. It's the characters, it's the stories of the game, it's the history of the game. But it's not... There is no cartoony aspect to this whatsoever. There is no camp aspect to this whatsoever. I mean, this is... If you like action movies, if you like action at all, if you like kick-ass drama and just good character work and an amazingly beautifully shot piece of film, this is awesome. I mean, it, people are going to be blown away. You do not have to be a gamer. You do not have to be a Mortal Kombat fan to love this. So, action, women in action has been sort of mentioned a lot mm -hmm. in, in entertainment journalism lately. And young Miss Ronan, the star of Hannah, had herself mentioned that it was really important to her that her character wasn't sexed up in that film. As a mom of a daughter, was that something that you were concerned about in taking on this role as an action star? This character, yes, to an extent, because it's so sexed up in the game and the costumes are so skimpy and so famously so. Um, that if you're too loyal to that, that takes this project into a very different direction and makes it a lot less realistic. It, it ups the camp factor immediately. It's taken a lot less seriously and it's a lot less gritty, a lot less real life. So that to me, I love that, that that's not Kevin's vision for this. Um, I don't, I have to, how do I put, I put this? I don't have a problem with sexed up characters per se. I mean, I don't want, yeah, I think it's gratuitous if you're just flashing your boobs for no reason and you're flat. I don't really think there's that much reason ever to flash your boobs. But as long as the character is smart and is well written, that's why I didn't have a problem with, you know, Seven of Nine's skin tight suit on Voyager that a lot of people had a hard time with because the character was not that. The character was the antithesis of what that physical appearance was. So for me, if she was a ditz and she's portrayed like that, then yeah, that's incredibly gratuitous to me. Um, but wearing something that's form fitting, yeah, I don't want, I don't want, you know, half nudity. That to me, no, that's that's gratuitous no matter what. I, there are very few reasons that I can see in a story that make nudity a necessity. But skimpy costumes or tight costumes or showing your body and being sexy in that way, as long as the character is smart and strong and a good portrayal of a woman, then I don't necessarily have a problem with it. Did you, you didn't have a lot of time to train for this, so did you Or any, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I was noticing, I was like, there's no time in between the, the go and let's shoot. Yeah. So, how did you handle doing the action scenes? Yeah, yeah, about that. So, yeah, that's the main difference between shooting this and shooting um, a TV series or, a, well, for a feature, that's, there's a whole different process. That's a much slower, more methodical process for a feature film. For TV, the pace of this is fairly similar. If anything, we even had more time when we were shooting it because the episodes are so short. But yeah, the lead time was non-existent. So I think I found out about the project that it even existed, and then two days later got the offer to do it, and then I think a day and a half later I was on a plane and shooting the next day. So there was no time to train. There was no time to get anything ready. Um, and it was very much trial by fire once I got on set. So thank God we have an amazing stunt coordinator who was very patient and kick-ass and, and worked with me between shots, you know, doing other scenes. And when we get a few minutes, we'd work together and try and practice. And um, But yeah, so there, my fight scenes are significantly shorter than some of the other fight scenes because these guys do, I'm the only one in the cast, I think, that's not a trained fighter. These guys are all martial arts experts. So if we get a season two, <laughs> If this project goes anywhere beyond this, there will definitely be more training and there will definitely be more intensive fighting. Has anyone talked to you about the feature yet and the possibilities of, of bringing the role to the feature film? Well, I know that that's Kevin's ultimate goal. He would love to do a film. I think everybody would love it. Um, but we'll see. I, mean, we're, I think we're all just along for the ride. This is so much fun and we're so proud of this project and what he did. And I mean, this is, this is a passion project for all of us. You know, it's a web series. It's not like they're backing up the money truck for anybody to do this. This is because we all want to do this and we believe in this project so strongly and his vision is genius. This is so beautifully done. I think people are really going to be blown away. I know that the series is a, you know, a series of anthologies, mm -hmm. but are you and Jax essentially chasing Kano the whole time? Um, 
Well, I can't tell you too much, but I mean, certainly that's how it starts out, for sure, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of bad blood there, and it's, it's definitely a vendetta.